Curious about how to do calligraphy in Procreate? In this tutorial, we'll take a look at some tips, tricks, and techniques for hand lettering and calligraphy in Procreate. It's easy and fun. Before we get started, if you're looking for Procreate calligraphy brushes, paper textures, and other hand lettering tools, check out Envato Elements. One low fee gets you access to an entire library worth of content with unlimited downloads. This means you can try out as many premium Procreate brush sets as you want to, because they're all included. Check out the description for more information. Now, let's dig in. Brushes are a big deal, but I also think it's pretty important to check out your pressure curve. We can find that here at the top of Procreate. Tap Actions, Prefs, and then Edit Pressure Curve. So this graph is our pressure curve. The bottom of the graph, our x-axis, is our pen pressure. So the left-hand side would be the lightest press, and the right-hand side would be the strongest press. The side of the graph, the y-axis, would be the amount of ink applied. Let's show what this means with an example. Here's a really simple pressure curve. It means that I press lightly, and then there's less ink, but when I press firmly, there's more. Here's a test line. Now let's flip it the other way around. With this curve, there would be more ink the less I press. This feels really backwards and is not likely something you'd want to use, but it helps illustrate how the curve works. When I'm barely pressing, there's lots of ink, and the harder I press, the less there is. Weird, right? Let's try out an S-curve, which I like to use for calligraphy styles. We can add more points by simply tapping on the graph. This pressure curve would have a gradual transition at first, and then a much more stark one. Here's some sample lettering. But I often use a curve a little more like this one when I'm normally drawing and sketching in Procreate. I can still letter like this, but the results are different. In fact, different artists likely prefer different curves. You can also change this up depending on how light or heavy-handed you prefer to draw. Now that we've looked at that, let's take a look at some brush settings. Tap on the brush to open up your brush library. Procreate comes with a calligraphy category by default. Rather than editing one of the default brushes, let's duplicate it. All we need to do is swipe left and then select Duplicate. Then we have a copy. Tap the brush to go into the Brush Studio, where we can adjust the settings. There are a lot of settings here when it comes to customizing your Procreate brushes. We actually have a whole separate tutorial on making and customizing Procreate brushes here on Envato Tuts Plus, so check out the description if you'd like the full walkthrough. However, let's take a look at some key settings that you'll likely want to try out. One of them is the Streamline, located here in your Stroke Properties. This helps keep your lines smooth. The higher the number, the smoother your lines. Let's also jump down to our properties. We can adjust our brush behavior here. Before we do, let's draw something over here in our drawing pad. This is a test space where we can try out our brush and see what our settings do. Clear the space by clicking on Drawing Pad and then selecting Clear Drawing Pad. Now I'll adjust the max and minimum size. Notice how it changes my line. I also like to do this with the max and minimum opacity. This can be a fun effect if you want your ink to look like it gets heavier or thinner. It can be really fun too for trying out watercolor pen-like effects. Let's give this brush a try. Here's some practice strokes. I like to practice with lowercase l like loops, where I press lightly going upwards and heavier when I go down. You can practice with any shape you like, and how you draw your letters will depend on your aesthetic preferences. I'll try this out with a word now to get a feel for my brush. So how do we create a longer word or whole composition? Is it just about drawing the same thing over and over again in one stroke until you get it right? Well, yes and no. You really could do this any way you like, but I like to use a guide sometimes. You could use a general template to help you place your letters, but sometimes I like to sketch out my whole design in advance. Here's an idea I came up with using the HB pencils in Procreate. Now I can lower the opacity on this sketch and create a new layer above it. When I come back with my Procreate calligraphy brush, now, when I draw, I have extra help. I don't usually follow my guides exactly, but it's nice to get a feel for where I plan to go. So what kind of words and designs would you draw out? This is really just the beginning of what you could create. And if you'd like to try some specialty brushes made for hand lettering, remember to check out Envato Elements. There's so many awesome brushes to try out over there. 
If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. You can also click on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching.